Hey YouTube, it's me, Midwave Jobble here. Today, today, we're going to be doing a gear review as requested by my followers on Instagram. Alright, first thing first, we're going to be tactical cap these boots. These boots are RG tactical boots. You can buy them online for around about $120. I've been using these for maybe about four months now. Um, they've been good. Um, no ripping, no tearing at all. Um, the material's faded a bit here, but apart from that, they've served great, great ventilation. Um, and you can just go on the website. Then they, they are an Australian store. I think in Queensland or somewhere. So yeah, good boots. I'd recommend buying these. Um, but if you're looking into something a bit more expensive, I would recommend spending that extra dollar. Next, we have our mechanics gloves. These are um, grip gloves, so um, here it says grip, and this gives you that little bit more grip. Um, here I've cut out the trigger finger and thumb, if you guys can see. Um, that's just so whenever I shoot and it's easy to pick up stuff. Um, little things like that, so I've just done that for that. And next we have our multi tool. I would highly recommend um, getting one of these because they serve a great use on the juggle field, especially if something is broken or you need to fix something. Next we have um, my good old safety glasses. Been using these for about a year. Um, no special brand, it's um, an old cheapo pair from Bunnings. But so far they've um, held up pretty good, just a bit of scratching on the lens. But apart from that, they've been pretty well done. Next we have my multi-cam face mask. It's a hooded mask, so that means it wraps around the entire head. Um, great ventilation of this one. Um, it is a bit loose once you are uh, later in the day, once you sweat a bit, but apart from that, um, I would recommend buying one of them. Next, we have um, my fast helmet. Uh, we have the ANF. Um, next, we have our helmet cover, um, Multicam Tropical. Then we have our battery pouch and my cool sun patch. Um, nothing too special about this helmet. Pads have held up for maybe around about seven months now, so that's good. Um, looking into getting a better helmet, one with which is a bit higher higher quality, as this one's no not branded. I might get an Emerson one next. Next thing we have um, seven mags here. The reason why for so many is just due to in case one breaks or um, in case you're doing game that lasts quite a while may need quite a few mags. Next we have our play carrier. Um, I've had this since I've started gel ball for maybe a year now. Um, it's held up alright. A um, few tears and stuff. Um, loose strings and stuff. So I'm looking into getting a new one sometime in the next few months. But apart from that it's done pretty well. I have my med kit here. I'm going to get a proper med kit pouch, not a star pouch. Um, a something. Um, another mag pouch. I can fit three mags in here, which does prove to be quite useful for the amount of mags that I decide to carry. Then we have a Emerson um, Molly mag thing. I can fit three mags in each one. Then behind this is another magazine holder that is built into the plate carrier if you guys can see that that can hold around about three but um really can only really hold two due to the space in there um have my dump pouch here and an admin pouch here if they'll show you a flag on it moving on we have to my blaster. If you guys haven't seen the review on this, I would recommend you guys do. Um, should 
it will be in the link in the description. And after this, we'll move on to my combat uniform, which is right here. So, move on to my combat shirt first. So, um, this is another non-branded shirt. Um, it's done well. Great ventilation. Um, have my patch here. Um, another patch here. Nothing too special about this. No rips or tears in this shirt. Um, apart from that, it's been great this one. Um, moving on to the next bit, our combat pants and battle belt. Now the battle belt isn't much of a battle belt, I just have a holster on it, but soon in the near future I'm gonna be properly getting a battle belt. Um, this unclips easily. These combat pants are okay. It does have a little rip in the crotch area, which is fun. Um, apart from that, the ventilation is okay. Has plenty of pockets for all your little bits and pieces, of course. And I believe I paid about $150 for the combat uniform altogether. That includes the shirt and pants. And Velcro at the leg bits here and on the um, combat shirt where the um, wrist is. Moving on to our next bit is a watch. Now this watch here is a chronograph um, Casio watch. It's around about $300. You can get it from your nearest jewelry, jewelry shop. Um, I would recommend a watch with gel ball, but you don't have to go out spending your entire life savings on one. It's just useful for time and can pr prove useful later on in the day. Um, also, another reason for the reason I brought this watch is I need it for other outdoor activities like army cadets. But apart from that, that's about it for all my gear. Um, I'll probably be uploading another one of these in about a year, year's time, so I might make this a bit of a tradition, this type of video, video, see how much my gear evolves over time. So in next year or so, the, all this stuff you see here could all be different, so I'll definitely keep a look out for that video. Alright, so thank you guys for watching, please like and subscribe, see you guys next time, have a good one.